I'd imagine the place to start is when people first touched the land here. Of course, no one knows what early nomads may have seen it, but in a cave overlooking the San Augustine Plains west of Magdalena was found some of the earliest evidence of man cultivating corn in the United States, dating back over 3,500 years. The San Augustine Plains themselves were an inland sea until 10,000 years ago, and the mountains that encircle and bisect these wide open spaces are mainly volcanic in origin, formed 25 to 35 million years ago. Later, the Anasazi thrived here, only to leave this land after a few hundred years. No one knows where they went. Perhaps their descendants are living in the pueblos of Acoma, Laguna, or Zuni today. When the men of Coronado's expedition first saw this country in the 16th century, the nomadic Apache were drifting through, and later came their cousins, the Navajo. One legend has it that the mountain overlooking the town was named in honor of Mary Magdalene by some men from a scouting party out of Coronado's expeditionary force. They saw in the rocks and the brush on the face of the mountain, the face of the biblical bad girl turned good, Santa Maria Magdalena. It became known as a place of sanctuary which the warlike Apache would not violate. If you made it to the mountain, you were safe. That the Apache themselves saw meaning in the symbolic formations on the side of the mountain is an interesting speculation. In the middle of the 19th century, this territory became American soil and was open for settlement. Norman Cleveland probably knows as much about that era as anyone around here. Oh, he wasn't around back then, no, but his grandfather was. Norman's a writer, historian, former cowboy, and Olympic gold medal winner, a mining engineer, and more. His grandfather came to this country in the 1870s, surveyed the route across the Raton Pass where the Santa Fe Railroad entered New Mexico. The Red River Cattle Company moved in here uh, just as soon as the area was surveyed and the land was opened up for uh, homesteading. Uh, they couldn't move in uh, very well before it was surveyed, early 1880s. And uh, the Red River Cattle Company uh, sent down a, a large number of people, well, I say 20 or 30, who were grub staked to homestead on all the water. If you had the water, of course, you had uh, the, the control of the range. And so all these places you see along here, uh, all their names of people who came down from Colfax County to homestead, a grub stake with the understanding that when they completed their homestead, they turned it over to the Red River Cattle Company. Now that was not quite kosher or legal but it was the only way you could uh, run a, uh, make this country pay. It had to be done on with large scale operations. So um, as the country built up, other outfits came in. The railroad arrived here in 1885. A new town sprang up and took the name of the woman on the mountain, Magdalena. Overnight, it was a center for the shipping of cattle and sheep and a commercial hub for the logging, ranching, and mining interests in the area.